Hi everybody. When I first started making videos for YouTube, I really thought I was just going to encounter sort of an anonymous community. I think of Lee and Maggie as the first people that reached out and let me know that there were real people on the other side watching these videos. And since then, I've met so many amazing people through, not just through the comments, but through letters that you've written to me, through email, and I'm blown away. What an amazing group of people out there. And thank you so much for, for being part of this. Um, my last video, How to Become an Adventurer, people have sent me so many stories and put so many stories in the comment section about challenges and victories that they've met in their life that I thought it would be a great chance here to take advantage of using the comment section to share a whole bunch of stories. So what I'm asking is that any and all of you write in and share some stories that are going to make people laugh, that will inspire people, that just celebrate your, your personal strength or your personal weaknesses or show us things that you've, you've learned in your life. Stories that come out of that adventure spirit. Please write in, share your adventures and your misadventures. And I would also encourage people to comment on the comments. It's really fun when people start to share. And let's just see what happens. Fun experiment. I'll start things off by sharing a story of my own. Here at the Rewild University Training Grounds, this is also a uh, multi-generational community and a working organic farm. And last year, they purchased some heritage pigs that were meant to go out to pasture. And these pigs supposedly were really used to electric fences. Well, they put them out to pasture for the first time and the girl pig hit the fence and went crazy. And she busted through that fence hit the chicken tractor, went in one side, past all the startled chickens, out the other side, through a barbed wire fence, an old barbed wire fence, up a long pasture, out through another old barbed wire fence, and out into the woods. So the first I hear about this is about a half hour later. They have tried to track down and find this pig, and so they call me up to go find or get this pig, right? And now, keep in mind that this is a 275 pound pig. And if I'm soaking wet, I'm lucky to tip the scales at 140. And so I'm thinking, hmm, you guys have a lot more confidence in me than I do. But, so I grab this climbing rope and as I'm jogging out there, I fashion it into a lasso. It's a super windy day. The trees are shaking, branches are falling and I track the pig for about a half hour and suddenly there she is through the woods. And it's so windy that I'm thinking, like I'm gonna be able to come up behind her and throw this lasso over her head and get her, right? So I'm creeping closer and creeping closer. Yeah, right, about 15 feet away and she looks back and sees me. She gets all wary, starts circling around. Luckily she doesn't run, but she's circling around watching me. I'm like, what am I gonna do now? So there's this path coming through here in this tree. And I think, well, I'll set a rabbit snare, right? A pig snare. So I, I make my snare and I stand back at the end of the rope and try to lead her around to it. Sure enough, she goes right through it. I yank it, get her around the waist, have this moment of feeling, whoa, victory. And then I'm flying through the air, right? all little 140 pounds of me flying through the air, hoping I'm not gonna crash into a tree as she's riding through the woods. I think instincts take over then. So I, I roll to the side and get it around this tree, wrap it up, and she comes to a screaming stop, screaming like a orc in the woods, just, oh my gosh, it's terrible noise. So now I'm alone in the woods with this 275 pound screaming pig. What am I gonna do now? So I end up making sure she's really secure. I go back and get a bunch of the other people from the farm. My co-teacher Mike fashions this awesome sling and we call out the vet. 
and the vet comes and she is this like five foot two super cute looks like she's 19 years old all in really nice clothes and cosmetics and we're thinking uh really and she's not afraid at all she wades right in there right and and administers the injection the sedative and we wait about 15 minutes and pig lays down on her side we start to move her on to the stretcher and she just ugh, comes into full consciousness again this happens about four times it's getting dark and she keeps waiting in there giving another shot she says she gave that pig more sedative than she would give to a horse and finally finally she's sedate enough that we can take her down through the woods, picking our way in the dark, down to this nearby road, get her into the back of this pickup. We all pile on top to make sure that she's not gonna get up during the ride. And the guy books home, and just as we're pulling in to the pasture, she starts waking up again. As soon as she sees her boyfriend, though, she gets all nice and mellow, goes over to him, they're rubbing noses. And so it was sort of nick of time. And the story ended well, she made it back. And that is the story of how I caught a 275 pound pig in the woods. And in truth, it was sheer luck. So please write in, share your adventures or misadventures. And I can't wait to hear them.